Now a story you'll see only on Eyewitness News. The DOT is scaling back the state's estimated savings from the governor's toll proposal by $17 million. The agency lowered the number after acknowledging a mistake flagged by WPRI.com. Eyewitness News reporter Steve Nielsen is live in the newsroom now with a reaction from the Rhode Island Trucking Association that's new at 6. Well, Mike, the Trucking Association has been critical of this plan from the start and told me today that this calculation error highlights the need to slow down the proposal. How much will it cost to repair the Henderson Bridge, one of the largest structurally deficient bridges in Rhode Island? If you ask the Department of Transportation over the last few months, the numbers changed every time by millions. But WPRI.com reporter Ted Nisi first uncovered the latest error when the cost was listed at $171 million. After Nisi brought it to RIDOT's attention, they changed the estimate to $154 million. That impacts the governor's roadworks plan, a strategy to borrow $600 million dollars now, rapidly fix the state's bridges by 2025, and pay back the bonds by tolling trucks. Let's make sure we have this right. Clearly this proposal is flawed. I met up with the spokesman for the Rhode Island Trucking Association, Bill Fisher, who believes our findings should cause lawmakers to slow down. On behalf of the Trucking Association of Rhode Island, we are very concerned about the numbers and projections in roadworks, uh, and the fact that they don't have the math right on this. Uh, should be alarming, uh, particularly to members of the General Assembly. And we just received a statement from the governor's press secretary defending roadwork saying the bond proposed in this plan will allow us to bring our bridges to 90% sufficiency sooner and save taxpayers hundreds of millions of dollars more even after the cost of interest than if we don't have this surge of funding up front. And RIDOT told us that the Henderson bridge issue was an isolated error and that all other um, bridge estimations have now been triple checked for accuracy. Live in the newsroom, I'm Steve Nielsen, Eyewitness News. We have in-depth coverage of this Eyewitness News exclusive. Coming up on Eyewitness News at 6.30 over on Fox Providence, we'll hear from WPRI.com reporter Ted Nisi, who uncovered this mistake and brought it to the DOT's attention. He'll explain the bigger implications for the governor's plan.